My name is Matt Valentine. I'm Vice President of Sales with Gloria Division. We're here today to discuss the ion-specific Chlortest CSN kit. This is the contents of the CSN kit. Again, this kit is an ion-specific that tests for chloride, sulfates, and nitrates. In this kit, you will have five sleeves. Each one of these sleeves will test for each salt, the chloride, sulfate, and nitrate. Uh, also in here are the, the uh, tubes. The Gitagawa tubes here are specifically for chlorides only. Um, that test is always performed first once you've done the extraction. The nitrate strips are also in the kit. Those contain five separate nitrate tests. Again, it's used with the ex same extract material from the original tests. The sulfate test it, it contains the uh, meter. You utilize the funnels, the extract material itself in the jars, the barium solution, along with the filters. This test kit comes with complete instructions on how to do each and every one of the tests. So it's printed on the case itself, so if you ever have any questions, you can refer to that. It includes also the, the battery charger and the uh, power cord for it. So we'll start with the chloride test. There is an extract bottle, that's extract material in here. You'll take the lid off, you'll pour the extract material, into the sleeve. You'll take the sleeve out. You take the top, you want to twist it up so it looks like this. So you twist the bottom up so that all the liquid's in the bottom and the reason you do that is so you don't lose that extract material. Now once you've gotten to this point you can see some of the tabs already pulled up. Um, you have a flange, a little flange on each side you, to pull the protective coating of the paper off of the sleeve. Once you get to this back piece, when you have gloves on, it's very difficult sometimes to get that underneath that edge off of it. So what you want to do is you kind of want to pinch it, and you can use your finger as you're pinching it to loosen that edge up. Pull it off. Once you have that all off, you go to your substrate. So if you're going to put it on a upside down or a vertical or overhead, you want to make sure that you have that twisted, not to lose the material. Press evenly all the way around. Once you've gotten to that point, you can loosen it up which allows your extract material access to the substrate. And what you do with the sleeve is you'll take that liquid and you'll massage it onto the surface for about two minutes. And the reason you do that is the two minutes allows for the full extraction of the, the maximum amount of salt so you know what you're dealing with. <clears throat> Once you're done with that, you'll take the sleeve and put it back into the holder. You'll take the tube out. You wanna make sure you don't touch either end of the tube. And at that point, what you wanna do, there's a tool in here you need to be careful not to lose it, so when you're done, put it back in the box. But there's a little hole in the end of that. What you do is you put it on the end of the tube and you break the little glass ends off. At that point in time, you'll put the tube into the sleeve, into the liquid, and there is an aspirator ball included in the kit. This is only to start the wicking process. So you'll squeeze it, put it on the end of the tube, and let go, and allow it to wick to the very top. And you, you'll see once the liquid gets to the very top. Once that material is extracted clear to the top, you'll take it and as you can see here, it's marked. So the liquid, once it wicks clear to the top, it's going to give you a definitive color line. At that point in time, it'll tell you uh, wherever that line is, is going to be where your uh, PPM of chlorides or micrograms per centimeter squared of chlorides. It's an exact test. Once you're done, uh, do whatever documentation you need for the testing process, and you can discard the tube. We'll move on to the nitrate test. And the nitrate, nitrate strips come in the kit. Um, it has uh, variations of color. It'll determine what your, your nitrates are. You'll take the strip out. You'll immerse it into the, the liquid. So once you have the nitrate strip in the liquid until it's saturated, you'll pull it out, allow it to do its process, whether it's you know discolored or it doesn't, either way. What you want to do is take it and put it on the comparative test and it will determine your nitrates. Once you've done with that test and you've documented your process, you can discard your nitrate strip. At this time, we're going to move on to the sulfate test. Uh, it's a little more involved. So this test requires the meter. One thing you want to make sure with this meter is that, is that it's fully charged before you start the process. So we'll go ahead and turn it on, get it fired up. 
So you already have the extract material, it's in the sleeve here. Uh, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna run it through a filter. Uh, so you'll take the filter out. You already have the empty jar that you've used the extract material out of, which is empty now. So what you'll do is you'll take that off, set it down. You'll take the plunger out of the filter, set that down. You'll take a funnel, put it into the filter, set it on top of the jar, pour your extract material into the funnel, runs it into the filter, discard the filter. And here what you'll do is you'll, it pushes the material down through a, a fine filter here to remove any of the heavy particles. Once you're done with that, discard the filter. At this time you have the liquid materials are in the jar. You want to take that and you want to shake it for 30 seconds. At that time, you'll set it down, let it sit for two minutes. Once your two minutes is up, you'll take that again and shake it for five seconds. Then you'll take your rag, make sure you clean all fingerprints or anything you might have on that jar. Now this has a vertical line on it, which matches up with the arrow in the front here. You'll slide it down in. At this point, you will hit enter, and what that does is it zeroes out the uh, extract materials. You'll know what you're dealing with at the beginning is zero. Once you're done with that, you'll pull it out. You'll remove the cap again. At this time, there's you'll pull out the barium solution, which is a small little vial, and it has very little barium solution in it. Um, a lot of times when you open this up, there'll be a, a little bubble in there. You have to make sure that you get rid of the bubble on the top. You can blow a little air across it, whatever, to break it so you can get the uh, materials out. You'll pour that into your extract. Once that's done, discard. You'll put this on, shake it. Again, 30 seconds. Let it set two minutes. Once your two minutes is up, shake again for five seconds, let it set, wipe it down again. And again, you'll line up the, the, the vertical line to the arrow close it and you'll hit enter again. And what that will end up giving you is a reading. And the result will be uh, sulfate in PPM or micrograms per centimeter squared. And that'll tell you what you're, what you're dealing with on the substrate.